We, should, we need to be innovative, we need to be inventive, we need to be creative, we need to show the automotive industry the way of the future and the way that vehicles are going to look in the future. It's our data collection, yeah, exactly. It's collecting all the data that the, that the controls in the car is seeing and yeah, just displaying it just so we can do um, diagnostics and things like that. So like if there's a failure, we can come back and look at this stuff and figure out exactly where it failed and why. Yep. So the goal is basically to develop a concept for what we think cars could be in the future. Our car is unique both in a technological standpoint and in the competition. So for the Eco Car competition, uh, we have a range of different uh, fuels and kind of configurations that we're uh, allowed to explore. Uh, and we're the only team that is doing uh, hydrogen as our main fuel. It allows us to have zero emissions driving throughout our entire driving range uh, while minimizing the costs of the entire system and creating a vehicle that's you know, comfortable to drive, has good performance. So as you can hear or not hear, it's, it's very quiet. It's a hydrogen fuel cell, so we have compressed hydrogen in the back of the car and that um, provides energy to a hydrogen fuel cell, which converts the energy in the gaseous hydrogen to electricity. And so that electricity can put energy into our batteries or um, assist the batteries in driving our electric motor. CSU has done a lot of research in the past and we think that you know, this is the technology that's really going to stand out in the next 10 to 15 years. These technologies that we're demonstrating in this vehicle are, are going to be affordable, uh, it's going to meet all of your needs, you know, all your daily needs, and it's going to uh, reduce emissions and energy consumption, high, you know, have very, very high efficiency. Uh, and so these are all things that our transportation field need to be able to sustain itself in the future. Just driving the car, there are no emissions. With the hydrogen fuel cell system, the only emission is um, just water. So you put in hydrogen, it mixes with oxygen in the fuel cell, and the output is water. So we don't get any uh, like CO2 emissions, any greenhouse gas emissions, anything like that that you would see in a regular internal combustion engine vehicle. With ours, you have no emissions and it drives like a conventional vehicle, so it's a you know, no compromise vehicle, a way to get to zero emissions and to have high efficiency. Because we are using the hydrogen fuel cell and there are no emissions, um, if if everything works correctly, that emissions will give us a, a big leg up in the scoring for all the other teams because everyone else is going to have emissions when they're driving around. So if we can get it all to work and get all to run, which we should have no problem doing, then we should do very well. <laughs>